Peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful Leos. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do your general reading. This is going to be a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on for the Leo Collective. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I will you all are in a beautiful space, feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. We're going to take a little peeky peek, um, check the temperature, see what's hidden, if anything. Uh, my readings are general, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign, so be sure to check your natal chart, see what's in your other placements so that you could get a more clear and concise message for you. Uh, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video has found you uh, or whenever this video has popped up in your feed, well, that was divine timing and in divine order that it has done so, beloveds. Um, I am uh, an intuitive reader. I'm also an empath. And I also channel messages uh, clairaudiently. So you will hear music playing or hear me referencing songs uh, throughout the duration of the reading. Uh, and the way that it works, the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what uh, may be coming out within the cards. Uh, and it all just blends very beautifully, if I do say so myself. Um, so we're going to go ahead and delve into the reading, proceed with the read. Before we do, let's go ahead and get some house cleaning done. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. And I wanna say welcome to all of my beautiful, beautiful soul tribe, soul family. Thank you so much, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. So let's tap into the energy. Let's see what time it is on the Klizok. It's 7.22. That breaks down to 11, which breaks down to 2. So 2 is all about duality. Some of you all may be needing to make a choice, a decision. There is something that you all are choosing. There's a choice that you need to make, or there's some sort of decision that you are um, needing to make. But there's a, a choice. I'm getting fork in the road energy. I also feel some of you all may be having some sort of beautiful love connection coming in. Because 11 is half of the 11-11 dynamic, which is... Typically that twin flame union. Uh, I'm also getting from that two, uh, the two of cups. This is someone that you could be equally yoked with, uh, like mind, uh, someone that you are in harmony with, mind, body, and soul. So this could be like a divine counterpart, uh, as I said, or maybe even a cosmic companion. Someone you may have known from a former life, or maybe when you bump into this person in this lifetime, there will be synergy, uh, there will be familiarity, similarity, there will be some commonalities uh, between you and this person. Um, I definitely feel like someone could be, you know, making the decision to come your way or you could be making a decision to go in a perspective direction which will lead you to this individual or to on this certain path. We have 93 on the bottom of the deck which says happy ending. So wherever you are heading, it's going to lead to a happy ending. So whatever decisions you're making, maybe you're being very strategic, very mindful of the decisions that you're choosing. Uh, whatever you're doing, it's going to lead to happiness. We have, um, I'm beautiful, damn it. And this is uncanny. Um, what does that say? Uncanny Alliance. Uh, and it says 1993. So that 1993 is also, um, that's four. So this could be a divine masculine that could be coming in. Um, or, you know, if you're a feminine energy, you could be a divine feminine who could have a divine masculine coming in. And it could be a vice versa situation. If you're a divine masculine, you could have a divine feminine that's coming in. Whoever this is, this is someone 
that feels you're beautiful. They feel you're you're attractive. They feel you know that you have this 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 radiance. You know you exude you know um, you know regalness and, and and love and beauty uh, and strength and wise dome and and um, just very maternal energy, paternal energy, very handsome, very strong, you know, very protective, um, alpha male, alpha female type of vibes I'm getting. Uh, we have 37 time out here on the split. So this nine, three and this 37 reduces to four, which is the same number that is, um, here with that 1993, that's also four. So four is the divine masculine and emperor energy. Uh, but I'm also getting four the heart chakra. Uh, so that four is telling me that there has been some healing. Uh, I feel someone that is emotionally intelligent is coming towards you. And I feel it's because you are exuding, you know, this energy that is drawing in. So it's almost like you're attracting what you are right back to you. Someone that has taken the time, you know, this time out to work on the self, to get back to one, you know, to, to get back to learning how to manifest. Uh, the one is associated with the magician, the magi, I magi nation. So someone who has set intention while they were in that, that hermit mode energy, you know, kind of looking back, reflecting back, taking those introspective, um, you know, cues to, to assess the self, to soul search, to discover, to self reflect, you know, and now there's a, a, a desire to take action because there's been some form of an epiphany, um, we see yellows on both of these cards. Uh, yellow is on this symbol. So I feel someone has had that aha moment, that epiphany. Someone has learned to manifest what they desire. Um, and they're manifesting something that's going to lead to some beautiful, happy ending. Um, we have Lords of the Underground, and this is called Chief Raka. So for some of you all, I definitely feel like um, Lord is typically uh, the Emperor. You know, um, Lord S is the Empress. So this is a very sacred union. I do feel like, you know, especially because we saw that that four, you know, that does associate with the uh, heart chakra. So there is a lot of love. So divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in for my beautiful Leos? May I have a message of love and light? And with that underground, I just feel again like that's somebody who's like been off the radar, you know, kind of like, you know, as I said, in hermit mode, um, you know, taking that time. This is someone who's in, you know, um, solitude, working on the self, healing that self, growing, you know, but that hermit is also a wizard. Uh, knows that the answers he seeks are found within. So this is someone who has intentionally taken the time to um, disconnect with the outside world so that they can connect with the self, so that they can connect with their higher self, receive the downloads, um, receive the that divine intervention from spirit. So we have here um, rebirth. This is the number 16, that's seven. So rebirth is giving me a sense of someone who's gone through major transformation and change, and now they're going to move more assertively, more calmly, Confidently. Seven is also associated with the crown chakra um, and seven is also the chariot. So there is a sense of someone who has like literally mastered the self. They have reached that level of self mastery through growing. You know, they've grown through their experience. They didn't go through anything. They grew through the experiences. And now there is an, uh, a, you know, a changed perspective, a more evolved um, perspective or even a more evolved, you know, um, um, thought process, but this is someone who has learned and grown and now they're more, uh, you know, more susceptible to listening to their own intuition and using discernment before taking action because they have found that, that, you know, equilibrium within themselves, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Um, and so now they, they move more confidently, more assertively because they've taken the time out to assess, to strategize, to plan, to prepare. Um, I also feel this is someone who is really, um, you know, going to experience uh, some sort of emergence. It's like they're emerging, busting out of. It's like they're they're kind of busting out of. Um, you know, a situation, you know, with, with, with vigor, um, this is strength. I just feel like this, this isn't just, you know, a rebirth. It's like they're breaking out of whatever they, they've been confined in. It's like, I, I was, I'm feeling confinement, but now I feel like they're just 
busting up out of that shell that they once were in, so to speak. So we have now um, 44 environment, which is on the bottom of the deck. We're about to pull the card for the person you're attracting, Leo. So this is someone I feel you're familiar with. Um, whenever I see environment, I just feel like there's a sense of, you know, there being past history, you planting seeds or roots with this person. Perhaps you worked with this individual um, in the past, maybe work with this person presently. Maybe this is someone that lives in your community. Maybe you and this person kind of uh, patronize the same business. Businesses. Maybe you attend the same gym, go to the same supermarkets, markets. Maybe you both are, you know, on the same trails when you take your nature walks or, you know, early AM jogs. Uh, but there's a sense of familiarity. Um, this person is absolutely looking at you as a wish fulfillment, but peep the 4-4, which is what we just saw. So I feel that this is someone... Um, because this is an all green card. So this is someone that has been healing themselves and growing, uh, perhaps from like karmic lessons. They have matured. They have like elevated in their state of consciousness. But I feel you also have gone through similar experiences. So there is that sense of, like I said, familiarity, commonality. And it's very interesting how this 4-4 is here, uh, which is showing both of you have done that inner work. You've healed at a soul level um, and you've taken the time out because I'm getting like even four of swords energy where you you don't you don't do anything other than kind of like reflect um, and through your reflection uh, there is you know that that point where you start to uh, take onus and accountability you start to identify uh, certain things um, that you may have done uh, which could have contribute contributed to certain uh, karmic um, debts, you know, how you've accumulated karmic debts, so to speak. So I feel like there's a sense of like just growing and healing um, from your past experiences, past past um, circumstances. And now there is this, like I said, you know, this emotional intelligence, 11, 11 on the clock. So this could be your twin flame. Um, I'm also seeing, please don't go away. Um, this is by... Um, boys to men so this definitely is someone who could have been immature because uh, like I said that four is the emperor that's the lord the lordess uh, you know regardless of the energy the gender uh, you know on the cards we always want to you know focus on just the energy and so 12 12 on the clock 3 3 that's 6 this is someone from your past someone that you could have walked away from because the 4 4 is also the 8 I'm getting like the 8 of cups so maybe you moved on from this person because maybe they were acting very immature even emotionally stunted or um, unavailable. Maybe this is someone that was non-committal, someone who still wanted to be a player, wanted to, you know, hang out, wanted to do other things. And now uh, there's a sense of like someone, you know, having, um, you know, that point or that time. Maybe you put someone in time out and that's why now they're realizing and discovering the passion, the fire, the desire that they now have for you and they want to take action because they see you as a star. They see you as a wish fulfillment. Some of you all have manifested someone back into your life. So let's see. Who is this person that our beautiful Leos are attracting to them? Eight is also your number. So maybe some of you all were born on... Um, you know, August, uh, maybe you are, you know, born August 4th or August 8th. Uh, maybe some of you all have some a beloved that was born on the 8th of, you know, the month. But 8 is um, associated with, you know, the sun sign of Leo. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light may have a message of love and light. Who is this person? Our beautiful Leos are attracting. Thank you. That spat out and it was beautiful. Wow. See that? 6-6 six, six healing. I can't make this up. So 6-6, six, six. whenever I see double numbers, I fail to mention um, that that always gives me, you know, the notion that you and the person you're attracting are mirroring one another energetically. So whoever this is, just as I said before, you both are, you know, really in that energy of healing thyself. Um, this is someone who's been working on healing themselves. This is someone who realizes uh, that they were being immature, whether this is masculine or feminine energy, regardless of it saying boys to men. Uh, but if this is a masculine energy, they were definitely being very immature. Maybe they were just, again, emotionally immature, uh, emotionally unavailable. Um, and this led to heartbreak because the 6-6 six, six breaks down to 12, which is 3. So that 12 is, again, the hangman. That's someone who has taken the time out to reflect to, to deeply 
you know, take those, you know, uh, take those internal self audits uh, to assess the self. And through that assessment, they're realizing like, dang, I've been acting real foolish out here in these streets. I've been acting very immature. So this is someone who has been working on healing themselves, maturation. That six, six breaks down to 12, which breaks down to three. So now this is someone that's looking towards you. Um, and understanding uh, how they have perhaps messed things up to the point where you may have walked away. Because with that, please don't go. Uh, and then that 4-4, four, four, which is was giving me kind of like the Eight of Cups, I do feel like, especially when I said, uh, you know, that 4-4 four, four environment is someone you're familiar with, someone you know, someone you may have history with. Um, this is someone that definitely wants to reunite, reconnect. Uh, maybe someone was definitely like, you know, doing a lot of things. Maybe they had some certain addictions, afflictions. They could have been smoking some Mary Jane, smoking some herb, chiefing green too much, being just immature out in the streets, wanting to run amok. And you just got tired of that energy. Uh, we have parenting here. So this could be the mother or the father of your child. Maybe some of you all had some sort of karmic um you know, parent, you know, maybe you had a karmic mother or karmic father, uh, and you all could have been finding yourselves, um, healing from that person. Um, you know, maybe, you know, recovering from, you know, some damage, childhood trauma. Maybe this is the person you're dealing with. This is what they had to deal with, which is why they could have been emotionally stunted because maybe during those formative years, there were certain, um, there were certain qual, you know, certain, um, certain, values or certain uh how can i say they, they they just weren't instilled with certain values and so they did not know how to show up perhaps in their love ships or friendships or connections uh the way that perhaps you needed uh the 1616 on the clock so that's seven seven that's 14 that's five so this is someone who could have also struggled with communication that's the throat chakra uh and i also feel that's that is also showing you know the hierophant because the five is the hierophant it's associated with the hierophant so they've been learning and growing that's like what i was picking up as well um they've been maturing they've been growing up boys to men they've been growing up whether it's feminine or masculine it doesn't matter so let's tap in so they could also see you as a mother or the father to their child if you don't have children uh with someone already or if you are not a mother or father this is someone that envisions themselves like in a partnership, building an alliance, you know, planting seeds and roots, building a legacy, uh, building generational wealth. wealth. Um, so let's tap in. Someone's name could be Mary as well. Or they could have like an M, a J, a B in their name. First, middle, or last initial. Bottom of the deck, we have individuality. And this is number two. So there was definitely a sense of codependency. Whenever someone has to learn to be an individual, it could be because there could be some issues with codependency. So that's your independence is the foundation for your stability, your security, and your overall happiness. So perhaps someone had to mature in that right. I was getting childishness. Boys to men was showing that someone needed to grow up, um, not just emotionally, but just period. We have 60, uh, what is that? 96 here. And it says forgiveness. So someone does desire your forgiveness. This is the person that you're attracting and how they feel about you is they desire your forgiveness. And then we also have uh, 32 music. So this person may listen to music. That's the uh, what's hidden. Someone could be listening to music and they could be thinking of you, uh, especially under the you know, under the influence of some Mary J, that's another word for so for herb, uh, marijuana, cannabis. Um, you know, that's another way to say, um, you know, marijuana is Mary Jane. So someone could be definitely like chiefing some herb, you know, kind of reminiscing. Uh, this could be someone just 18, 18 on the clock. That's nine, nine. So someone's making some changes. Nine is the highest number in vibration of change. And because there's dual numbers, I do feel like this is what you both are mirroring. This is how you both are mirroring um, one another is your both reflecting the change that you've made uh, within the self, you know, so you've been, you know, in that hermit mode, healing and growing. And I feel the person you're attracting has been doing the same. That's why I feel like they want to reunite. I feel like that's also why this rebirth is here because someone, you know, this could be even your energy just going through major transformation shifts, um, not just like physical shifts, but also shifts within the consciousness, the mind, uh, just your state of being. You're just a completely different person. Uh, and we also have uh, financial discipline here. Uh, and this is the outcome. That's number 48 which breaks down to 12 which is three so on the bottom of the deck that individuality is there again um so this person i feel like whoever this is um 
behind the scenes because this is what's hidden is this is someone that listens to music privately uh, and they may communicate or they may desire, I should say, to communicate uh, with you. However, um, you know, they could be just kind of like just dreaming, you know, like not really taking action. Uh, this is someone from your past, someone that could have wronged you, someone that wants to return. Um, we are still in Mercury retrograde. I believe it goes direct today, uh, but there's always that residual energy for that lasts for like a week. Um, so, you know, this could be someone from your past wanting to return. Uh, this could be someone even coming back to apologize. This person feels like you are their twin flame because six is associated with the lovers uh, and the lovers is really a very... Um, um, you know, that's like a very sacred union that could be even like, you know, some sort of um, divine counterpart. I'm getting also the six of cups, someone that could have walked away, chose another option or maybe that playboy, playgirl, somebody that didn't want to be committed in the past is now wanting to return because they feel fortunate with you. They feel like you're like that wish fulfillment. Um, you know, this is someone that feels like you're destined to be in their life because I'm getting like the wheel of fortune card from this song maybe someone's name is maxwell uh but i do feel like this person um also reflects back um on how bliss they were when you were in their life maybe this is someone that took you for granted uh but this 32 is showing me like they really desire to communicate uh maybe they're also a musician uh maybe they play instruments this is someone that has a background in music or maybe you are someone who plays music plays instruments maybe you listen to music maybe you're Claire audience or they could be Claire audience but there are some messages and i feel like the wheel is turning you know it's almost like something is turning in your favor uh i do feel like someone may feel like um you know divine timing it's like something's coming full circle and this is what's hidden behind the scenes because someone has taken the time out to work on themselves uh to heal themselves five is that her high uh that um hierophant and that hierophant is really about seeking wise counsel learning growing maturing this is even about you know discovering your know, skills gifts and talents honing those skills gifts and talents um this is about studentship this is about tutelage um this is really about uh, seeking a higher, uh, you know, higher learning or wise counsel, sitting at the feet of an elder, seeking wise advice or, um, you know, sitting with, you know, some of the maternal and paternal figures within the family and just getting that cloth talk. But this is really an energy of someone being very mindful to to um, seek out some 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 advice from those who are um who who they may look up to you know so this 48 breaks down to 12 that's three this is again just kind of you know veggie backing off that same fact somebody really really studying and learning um you know planting seeds you know wanting to come in and build some sort of an alliance with you uh partnering up with you uh this is someone who's worked very hard um, you know to establish something uh you could have worked with this person in the past um or maybe you could have cohabitated with this person. Uh, but whatever there is, I do feel like someone wants to come towards you uh, to build an alliance, to partner up. I feel like there needed to be some sort of break uh, so as to gain a sense of independence. Um, because we aren't to be codependent on anyone. You know, you got to learn to stand alone, perpendicular in your square. And I do see karmic completion here. So there could have been, you know, a need to, to um, you know, cut karmic cords, uh, you know, so that you can rebuild on a more solid foundation. So this is powerful. So let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see. Let's see what we got. I'm going to clarify these messages, beloveds. So we have in the bottom of the deck, a new start is coming. So there is a brand new beginning. This is something you all could have manifested as well. And we have the answers you need are coming. So this person is definitely going to, you know, take that leap of faith and they will communicate because maybe they're hearing the same song that's communicating with them, telling them like, look, call, you know, because this is right next to forgiveness. So this is someone who's, you know, maybe they're kind of like stuck in their up in their head. Maybe they're a little intimidated. Maybe they have a little bit of pride, um, you know, to come towards you, maybe because they know that an apology is due. But I feel like someone definitely uh, is coming towards you uh, very humbly humbly or very nobly, you know, uh, to, to communicate, to express something, to get something off their chest. Cause I just feel pressure. Like, you know, like right here in my chest, I just feel like somebody just got, you know how you just get like a knot in your chest cause you want to say something. So they could have been suppressing, um, 
you know, this this uh, form of communication for quite some time. And now it's like they're just going to kind of, they're going to just take that leap of faith and say what they need to say. We got Steel Pulse. This is called Chant, Chant a, a Psalm. So this person could be praying, like I said, you know, seeking wise counsel. Maybe they're going to a, peace, a, pras, a pastor, a priest, uh, you know, a master teacher, an ancestor, you know, ancestor sitting at their, you know, their altars. Um, maybe they are speaking to uh, their own, um, like I said, their own maternal and paternal figures within their own households. But they are, you know, really seeking answers, seeking uh, some sort of wise counsel uh, because I do feel like with steel pulse um, I'm just getting a sense of like you know they, they're they're trying to they're trying to 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 get that old thing back is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye so it's like they're trying to pump life um, you know they're trying to pump life back into a situation that may not have been um, nurtured in the past or there may not have been much work to nurture or to cultivate um, you know, a more sustainable partnership. So let's tap in, beloved. Let's see. Let's get some more messages. And we're going right out. Now, Shay. So let's tap in, beloveds. What's coming in, going out, going on? Who is this person? My beautiful Leos are attracting to them. What messages do you have? I cut my cards three times, three different ways. So we have on the bottom of the deck, the answers you need are coming. So whoever this is, this person is coming towards you full steam ahead. That's chariot. This is someone that's coming in now. They're more confident. They're more assertive. This is someone who has had some major change, transformation. They've gone through some things and they have grown, you know, so now this communication is coming because they feel more confident, you know, and I'm hearing steel, sharpened steel. And this is steel pulse. So I do feel like, uh, as I said earlier, I feel like whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like that's you and the person you're attracting, mirroring one another. So steel sharp and steel is another way to say whoever this is that's coming in, um, there is, there's going to be stimulating conversation. Um, this is someone who has absolutely matured, or if this is your energy, someone is going to feel like you have matured, like you have, you know, you have grown. Um, and, th and this is going to, um, this is going to, you know, end in some sort of happy ending. I feel like things are going to, you know, really, really turn out in your favor. We have time to, um, breathe out. So someone could really be meditating at this time. We're about to pull the card for the person that you are attracting. And this says 66 healing. So healing is all about centering the self, grounding that self, coming into, you know, balance, equilibrium. So, you know, there is someone that could be like really um, connecting to the self. That's the only way you could really heal because then you could start to to hear, you know, um, you, you, you start to to feel uh, what you need to feel internally. You start to receive those messages, those di divine downloads. Um, you start to connect more with your higher self. So there is a sense of someone like, you know, meditating to get things straight um, and also contemplating, you know, and this healing is 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 um, showcasing, you know, that someone has really um, been very mindful to take the time to heal themselves. So that's beautiful. So whoever this is, this is someone who's taking, uh, who has taken that time to heal uh, with change. Chant. They could have been like doing, you know, mantras, daily affirmations, um, sending up prayers, petitions. This is someone who really was dedicated to the healing process because maybe they were learning from you. Um, I just get a sense of like teaching and learning like you, they could have been watching you or vice versa. Um, but let's tap in divine spirit. So, okay, that was quick. So we have, you are good enough. See that beautiful energy? So you knew you were good enough. That's why someone, you know, they didn't appreciate you. This is how they felt about you. But let me get the card that flew out for the person you're attracting. It says nothing is yet set in, set in stone. So this person who has, you know, been healing from heartache, from heartbreak, who has been growing, who has been maturing, you know, maybe they had their mindset on how things were going to be, but spirit is letting them know, like, look, nothing is set yet set in stone. Um, continue to do your work because you will be surprised of the results of the outcome. Um, so this is really, you know, like spirit is, is, um, letting someone know, like, um, you never know how something will turn out, but just continue to stay the course. Do not get uh, discouraged. Do not get sidetracked. Uh, we have Stevie Wonder. This is called Golden Lady. 
So someone absolutely realizes that some of you divine feminines are absolutely good enough. Because this is what we're about to pull out the energy for how they feel about you. And this is what's on the bottom of the card. So we have forgiveness. So they want to they want to ask for your forgiveness because they didn't treat you like you were good enough. They treated you like an option. They probably took you for granted. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't value you. They didn't see you. You know, but spirit is now saying with golden lady, um, what's really sticking out in this video is how, you know, because if you don't know, Stevie Wonder is um, a blind artist. Uh, and so what I see here that's very beautiful is like there's this it's almost like a ray that is like aiming right at his first eye. So he's still able to see. You know, with his first eye, not necessarily his two. So this person um, has now, you know, had some sort of epiphany, as I said, like some sort of grand epiphany. Maybe this is you having an epiphany about your person. Uh, but this person feels that someone is absolutely like a dream come true, a wish come true. Um, we got August 3rd. Some of you all may have been born on August 3rd. Um, maybe you were born in the year 1973. Maybe you were born in August uh, 9th, 9th uh, August 4th, August 7th. Uh, if you look here, it says August 3rd. So some of you all, this message could be absolutely for you. Maybe some of you all, your name is Steve, Stevie. Someone could call you Stevie. I'm hearing some of you all, your favorite artist could be Stevie Nicks. Um, but yeah, so, and, and I feel like this person wonders about you, dreams about you, thinks about you, daydreams about you. It's like they, they now realize like, you know, how beautiful you are. You know, like this is someone that sees you as a golden lady. And remember lady, lordess, um, you know, those are the signs. Those are the, the names of like that empress and, um, empress energy um even if you're masculine that would be how someone perceives you as an emperor as that alpha male alpha female so this is someone that now realizes you're good enough and they may want to apologize for the way that they have mistreated you in the past because remember boys to men someone was real immature someone was definitely not emotionally intelligent so they could have been playing with your heart wasting your time toying with your emotions not really you know reciprocating so let's tap in so um, who is this person that Scorpio is attracting? And why is uh, forgiveness here for how they feel? I said Scorpio. Pardon me. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Who is this person? Leos are attracting. Pardon me, y'all. Who is this person? Our beautiful Leos are attracting. And why do they feel forgiveness for our beautiful Leos? Thank you, Spirit. And we have surrender to the divine. So this is about like letting go of the need and the desire to control the narrative. So just like I was picking up someone who was just kind of like proud, you know, and, and, and stuck in their ways, um, you know, this is that person that's struggling with, with communicating. So how they feel is forgiveness. They feel forgiveness for you. Uh, and it says a time for healing. So they do want to apologize and heal this connection. They do want to reach out and communicate. Uh, that says um, balsamic moon. And we have step out of your comfort zone. So yeah, this is someone who's been kind of stuck in their ways, kind of proud. 3232, that's what led to an ending. They were very proud, very egotistical, hard-headed, um, my way of the highway. And that's why spirit is like, look, surrender to the divine. You know, you can't control the narrative. The divine is like, give me the reins and let me control the ship. Someone was trying to do it on their own. And that's why it led to a crash and a burn. Um, but now they realize you're a golden lady. When you're a golden lady, you're like rare. You're a rare gem. You're like a diamond in the rough. Um, you're not someone you bump into twice in a lifetime. So we have show the world the real you. So this person struggled with showing you their authentic selves. And that's because, like I said, I feel someone was really, you know, trapped in a space of like wherever their trauma began. Because, you know, whenever you go through traumatic experiences, if you don't heal that, you're stuck there. So you could be 50 years old. And if you had trauma when you was like in your, you know, in your adolescence and you never healed it, never addressed it, never even, you know, confronted that pain guess what it you're just a child trapped in a grown person's body that same wounded child that same traumatized child still exists so you have to heal that inner child in order for you to 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 um you know, grow, you know what I'm saying? In order to, to move forward, in order to have new experiences. So it's almost like, you know, someone didn't see you. Someone did not see who you were, you know, and it's because they couldn't see themselves. This is someone who was a, ch who was a wounded child because boys to men, 
you know, please don't go. You moved away from that because you, you, you refused to settle. You refused to let someone treat you less than what you knew you were deserving of. Uh, and now this person sees that you're literally like a golden lady. So this is beautiful. So we have on the bottom of the deck, surrender to the divine. And I feel like that's what's hidden. So these are the downloads. Someone could be getting the divine interventions from spirit. Surrender. You know, music, the downloads, they're getting all these little subtle hints. You know, 34, 34, 7, 7, that produces to 14, that's 5. So that's spirit communicating with someone. And they're telling them, look, surrender to the divine and do what I say. If I'm saying communicate, then communicate. If I'm telling you to reach out to someone that you truly desire to ask for forgiveness, then do so. Because nothing is yet set in stone. Someone could be literally like... You know, creating the narrative and saying, oh, they'll never take me back. Oh, you know, I wish they would forgive me. But then they're not taking the steps to to ask for forgiveness or to seek forgiveness. So they could be hearing the same songs. They could be certain signs, synchronicities. They could be finding feathers. They could be hearing, um, you know, certain animal calls. They could be having certain sensations. There could be all kinds of synchronicities that could be occurring at this time. Because spirit is literally communicating with someone. So let's tap in. So why is 32 divine here? For my beautiful Leos and what's hidden. Why is it 32 music here? For my beautiful Leos. For what's hidden in the energy. We have a message of love and a message of light spirit. Why is this 32 music? Oh, thank you spirit. Okay. And we have on the bottom of the deck. You're very close to achieving your goal. See that? When you step out on faith and trust the process. You know, then there can be, you know, some some positive outcomes. That's why you have to surrender. You you we are not in control of anything. That's an illusion. Um, the divine is the one that's in control. You want to make God laugh. You tell him your plans because he got a whole other direction that he's trying to take you. So you can sit there and talk about what you want. And spirit is taking you on a whole other path. And as long as it takes for you to be obedient to that. You know, thing, things will remain the same. So we have, um, look at the bigger picture here. So someone is absolutely, you know, in that space. You know, like I said, that Hierophant energy is all about studious energy, seeking wise counsel, learning, studying. Someone could be reading their basic instructions before leaving earth. Someone could be going to a pastor, a preacher, uh, a master teacher. They could be going to a Reiki healer. They could be going to, you know, an elder in the family, a maternal or paternal figure. They could be sitting at the feet of the elders at their, um, you know, at their mosque, at their temple, whatever. But they're soaking up game and what they're learning is that everything happens uh, in divine timing and if you want anything in life you're going to have to take the leap you know you're going to have to shoot your shot you know you're going to have to trust in the process so there is divine downloads I feel someone is receiving because that 32 is also communication you know someone could also be learning like you know um, you know that there is you know a greater purpose for this connection that could be a greater um you know, there, there's something greater than just um, just a mere connection. You know, maybe this is a divine connection because remember, we saw a fortunate. So this could be like a divine counterpart, a sacred union, twin flame um, connection. We did see 1111. We have Lord Akim. This is called Stay Woke. You know, so someone was definitely like sleeping on this connection. And that's why spirit is telling someone to look at the bigger picture. You want happiness? Leo's your person. You want to feel aligned? You know, you want to feel uh, like you you are in, um, you know, a, a grounded and, and, and spiritual partnership? Then Leo's your person. But someone is also learning like they got to shoot their shot. So let's tap in. Why is financial discipline here? For the outcome, I have a message of love and light, Spirit. For my Leos, why is this financial discipline here? Thank you, Spirit. This is beautiful. Wow. And it says, believe in the impossible. So trust in the process. Trust in the process. Believe in the impossible. Remember, nothing is yet set in stone. This is the energy of the person you're attracting. This is so Spirit is saying that some of you all may be in disbelief when whatever this is that's coming in comes in. But it says, expect powerful change. And a new start is coming. So you all are on the precipice of a brand new start. And I feel like it's because of the seeds that you've sowed in good faith. Your hard work is going to absolutely paid off. So those seeds are budding and blossoming. And they're going to lead to a harvest. You all are going to have, I'm hearing, an infinite supply. I feel like you all are going to be very prosperous. I Absolutely. Okay. And I hear the siren. 
And so that's telling me to for, to tell you all to like to just be mindful, to be cautious, um, to plan ahead, to prepare. Maybe someone is very cautious and apprehensive and maybe someone, you know, has a tendency of, of um, you know, going into a negative self-talk. But this, again, is, you know, letting someone know, like, look, believe in the impossible. Because someone could really be just like constantly speaking negatively and stay woke when you're sleeping. You know, sleep is the cousin of death. You know, sleeping is the cousin of death. So it's like. It's like you, stay woke is another way of saying like be aware, be conscious, be be connected to the all, you know, be be here now because there is something beautiful coming in. If you're asleep, you're not going to you could miss the boat. You know what I'm saying? When doors open up the same way they open up, they can close. So there is, you know, a grace period. There is divine timing, I should say, um, you know, where you may have to take that initiative but there's a powerful change and shift that's coming in and i absolutely feel it's because you've been going through major transformations you and the person you're attracting i feel there's strong like just energy of mirroring so you and this person have gone through uh the same situations if not the same situations you've learned uh similar lessons you know and we have thoughts here so someone's absolutely thinking of you constantly and this is the same number of um this rebirth card so whoever this person is that's gone through this major transformation whether this is your energy or the person you're attracting leo um there are some heavy thoughts it's like someone now like i said is going to be more assertive and you know be more courageous and take you know take that initiative initial step to come towards you so we have ghost face killer together baby so someone ghosted the other you could have ghosted them they could have ghosted you or you both could have just ghosted one another um i just changed the song by mistake literally just changed the whole dynamic so i guess this was forever this this song has come up like a couple of times in the readings and this song is called forever this is by saw rock so absolutely i feel like someone is coming towards you and this is going to lead to a happily ever after so this is going to lead to some sort of uh forever union so divine spirit of love and light why is the 16 here? Wow, that flew up. What did I say? A message is coming. Someone is going to reach out to you. That's seven. Remember I was saying seven is associated with the chariot. So there is some movement. There's some action. There's some intel, some communication. Someone could literally call you, email you, DM you, text you, pull up on you, knock on your door and be like, what it do? What it do? What it do? You know what I'm saying? Because the answers you need are coming in the form of communication. Can't make this up. And I feel like this could lead to, you know, a forever union if you both sit down and, and sharpen one another's sword and, and not hold back and speak your truth and express your, your truth. But we have here family room. So I do feel like, you know, maybe there is some some desire to, as I said, you know, come to union, come into this partnership, uh, you know, because someone has forever. They have that happily ever after in mind. 21 is literally the world card uh, in traditional tarot. So that speaks to self mastery. That speaks to, you know, gaining a deeper, more profound understanding of the self. As I said, so this is that same person that has been healing and growing. This is three. This reduces to three as well. 12 is 21 switched um and i just saw 42 42 which is 6 6 which is 12 so both of you have been healing and that's why this family dynamic can develop this is why now you all can you know start to have those serious conversations and and get past the the nonsensical things to move forward in the same direction because this is sacred so with this family room and nothing is yet set in stone. I do feel like someone can see themselves with you. Maybe this person that's heartbroken or recovering from heartbreak um, is, you know, maybe they have, what did I just say? Recovering from heartbreak. And this 31 reduces to four. So I always liken this card to someone like, you know, suffering from heart, heart pain, heartache, you know, emotional loss. You know, so this person that has been suffering from this heartache and loss um, is an official person and someone that is at a distance that has had some sort of major ending that has occurred in their life. That's what they're healing from. They're healing from something. So whoever they were with, whatever karmic that they have been with, it's like now they are realizing they need to make some sort of changes because even though they feel like this spirit is like, look, nothing is set in stone. Just work on healing thyself. Work on growing. Work on maturing. Work on being a better person. You know what I'm talking about? 
This is beautiful, man. This person is doing the work. I can see literally where this person is like fighting. I'm hearing every day that every night I got to prove my love. Like somebody willing to fight for this. You know what I'm talking about? And they're moving. They're moving away from the drama, the trauma, the negativity. And this is a divine masculine. There goes that two, two, that four. And this is the number of the emperor. So this is a main person. The main male, the main female of your love story, beloveds. So this is definitely like someone is taking this, 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 um, they're taking the steps to move away, to move on. They're going towards some sort of new beginning. This is action oriented and there is distance, you know, but they're not letting the distance stop them. This is beautiful. So why is 96 forgiveness? Uh, a time for healing. Step out of your comfort zone. Show the world the real you here for how this person, our beautiful Leos, are attracting to them. Feel about them. They have a message of love and life spirit. Wow. This is what they feel. Distant horizon. So this anchor is being lifted. They feel like their emotional, their emotional anchor, they want to... Um, they want to, you know, whatever you all have, have been experiencing in terms of like the, just the stress of the, the relationship or them feeling anchored because they can't let you go. Them feel, They want to free themselves. They want to take action. They want to change the circumstance. You know, this is like being uh, spiritually and emotionally anchored by a situation. And this is why they desire the forgiveness because maybe they feel like they've done that to you. You know, maybe they have been held back um, emotionally because of what decisions they've made in the past. But this is like, you know, this anchor is being kind of um, freed out of, you know, the, the, the ocean floor. So this is like, you know, this anchor is, is, is literally, um, this, this is speaking to like, I'm feeling freedom, not no longer being anchored is freedom, you know, no longer feeling weighed down, you know, overwhelmed, you know, no longer feeling stuck and stagnant. This is like, you know, they, they want to take this situation that has been very stuck and they want to move forward. They, this is the person that wants to come towards you as well. I feel like they're coming in. I see this bird it looks more like a dove. So that is also a sign of, you know, rebirth. That's also communication. You know, this is someone who's had that epiphany, that that download from spirit. We have main female. Remember, main male popped out. So they, this is someone that fills you the star of the story. We got two, two, two here. That's six. Six is the number of what? The same number they, that's here. Sixteen. I mean, fifteen. That's six. This is how they feel about you. So this person definitely feels like you're the one that got away. But they feel like you're a past life love, a twin flame, a soulmate, a cosmic companion. This is what they feel about you. And this is that person from the past. And what they feel is you're the main you're the, the star of the story. You are the yin to their yang. The yang to their yin. Who is this playing? We got um OT. This is called paperwork. So this is someone that definitely wants to marry you. This person could be working overtime. This is, it could be someone trying to get their coins together so that they could offer you commitment. So that they could commit and put a ring on it. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Why is 32? Um, why is 32 music? And look at the bigger picture here for what's hidden for my beautiful Leos. And then we're going to wrap it up. Thank you. Okay, so this is the card that wants to come out. You see how it is sitting there? We're going to take that. Look at that. I can't make this up. Courtship. This is what they feel. They want to come in and court you, beloved. It's 47, 47. That's 11, 11. This is your twin flame. Can't make it up. 11, 11 is the vibration of four. 11, 11 is also the vibration. You know, I mean, um, four is also, you know, connected to that heart chakra, as I stated. And this is also, you know, that divine masculine. So this is someone, you know, that's coming in, that matter of fact, and they, they don't have the paperwork together. Maybe someone was in a partnership, a marriage that they had to part ways from. And now they're on the way to you because that 10 reduces to one. So this is an ending. Someone's moving away from a situation, relocating to come towards you, to come after you. And remember that paperwork, maybe that's a divorce, you know, settlement, maybe, you know, some sort of divorce proceeding or divorce um you know, someone was going through some sort of divorce proceedings and they got the paperwork to prove it. Maybe some of you all were dealing with someone who was still, you know, like legally married to someone and you moved away because you didn't feel like they was taking, you know, they wasn't taking the situation serious. They wasn't even trying to take any steps to 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 dissolve their marriage. And you could have just moved on. You could have said, I'm out. I'm not going to be nobody's, you know, side piece, you know, and maybe they did what they had to do to get that paperwork together. 
with look at the bigger picture. This person is now looking at the bigger picture, all right. And what they're looking at is happily ever after. They're looking at that forever, like Sarak was saying. They feel like you are their rock, you know, like you are their foundation. This is beautiful, Leos. Look at that, wealthy man. This person been working on their coins, beloved. Somebody been working on them coins at 13. That's that transformation. So they went from being a boy, you know, to a man. If that was a young lady, that she went from being a girl to a woman. You know what I'm talking about? This is that 13. This is the transformation. This was the major rebirth. It's like, let me step up and, and, and step my grown man, grown woman business up and stop playing around in these streets. So this is that 13. This, this is the transformation. Like they don't play. They they went and, and they got some 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 um jewels and gems. You know, they were learning, they were growing. This is also someone who has um and matured emotionally as well. It's like their bank account matches, you know, their their um that emotional um bank account as well. You know what I'm saying? That emotional account. It's like they they're well rounded now is what I'm getting. They're more grounded, they're more they've established that that foundation, you know. This four is really a powerful number of stability and security. This is beautiful. And that's why expect a powerful change. A new beginning is coming. You know, with financial discipline, I was speaking to someone that wants to build that partnership, that alliance. This is someone that's serious. And they coming toward you, beloved. Divine spirit. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Privileged lady. This is how they see you. The, the empress. I was mentioning the empress all day long. And here she is. And... Sudden wealth is on the bottom of the deck. Expect some income, some unexpected income. And this is, remember, the financial discipline. So some of you all have been, like, saving your coins. You've been just kind of, like, you know, preparing. Maybe somebody's been doing the same. But there's some sudden wealth, some sudden income coming in. You all are very, very attractive. This person loves you. They see you as the empress, the divine feminine, the divine masculine. A new start is coming because someone is coming towards you. And we have nice and smooth. Things are going to go nice and smooth this time around. Because I feel like you both are, are meeting each other where you are. You're attracting what you are now. And it's almost like I said, like teaching and learning. Like you've taught this person. This person has learned from you. We got the number four. And we have the number three, which is what? The Empress and the Emperor. And remember, we had that seven, which is the rebirth. So you both have kind of mirrored one another. Not even kind of. You both mirrored one another on this, this journey to healing thyself. And you are attracting exactly what you are. And you also have some blessings coming in. Remember, we saw 11. So Spirit is opening up the portal. Some of you all could have been manifesting last year during that 11-11 you know, portal that opened up. Some of you all could have just been manifesting last week during that one, 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 one. But this is a beautiful energy that's coming in. Y'all may, you know, hit the lotto, hit the numbers, uh, stroke of luck. Some of you all could be seeing 777. That could be a sign that some blessings are coming in. Scratch off tickets. I would tell you to invest in that. I would definitely tell you all to um, look up your lucky numbers. You know, start going and, and doing your due diligence. If you have a, num a couple of numbers that you play, play them. You know, take a little five dollars out of your 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 pocket and go play them numbers because you never know. You might you might sh hit it. You might hit it big. You know what I'm talking about? But this is your reading, beautiful Leos. I will that the message is resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Rotate the love. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. And if you feel so inclined, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big old fat eye shake. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. Peace.